this is the evening before the opener on the Utah early uh, rifle mule deer hunt. Um, I got out here to where I'm going to be hunting. And I'm going to go check a couple trail cameras that have been soaking for a couple weeks. But I see several boot tracks right here. So a good chance these cameras have been checked. That's kind of just the name of the game in Utah. Walk up to these cameras. Um, it's quite a ways up the canyon. Hopefully far enough that they didn't get messed with. No big daddy. All the little bucks have been here. Well, nothing even worth seeing on that camera. One three point and a little four point, and then a coyote and a like a raven or a crow. So she's getting pulled. I'm gonna go put it somewhere where maybe it'll actually do some good. If I find another spot where they're crossing, I'll slap it there. For now, though, it's getting the axe. I'm gonna run up and see if I can get glass on these deer before it gets all the way dark. It's go time. Just checking down through these lower hills right here. Close range. I was hoping to get up to the big point to get out the tripod and look out in the flat, but we're out of time. Guess I'll go make camp and I got a lot of trail cam pictures and videos to look through. Like 400 videos so go set up camp do that and get a game plan put together for the morning excited for tomorrow also want to give a big shout out to my partners over at vortex optics give them a big thank you for sponsoring this video they're awesome partners and i appreciate you guys and uh hopefully we're gonna have a good exciting hunt Lots of little bucks, nothing that exciting though. Still got a lot to go through. Well, we had a bit of an issue here, so I had my pack thrown back in the back of the truck and had that little Yeti cooler full of ice and some energy drinks. It fell off of there and it filled my pack up with water. And the reason that my pack is right there is because it wasn't dry, so I couldn't put my things in it yet because I just washed it. Now it's re not dry, but. Oh well, maybe it'll dry out by tomorrow morning. I'm gonna pull all this crap out of here, set up, and get ready for bed. These are my tripod binoculars. These are the 18 by 56 UHDs. I have been living behind these things out here because you're always glassing long distances and far away. So I'll carry these in my backpack, and then I'll carry my 12 by 50 UHDs on my chest, but can't underestimate the importance of good glass. Ammo. These are the Precision Hunters, 147 grains. 143 grains, 6.5 more. That's what I shot with today, and that's what I'm going to be hunting with tomorrow. So I just barely put this Razor LHT on there. And this thing, oh my gosh, it shoots so good. Shot it to 900 today, and it did really, really well. Excited to put it to work.
people love hunting these super low deer density areas. It gets a little bit exhausting, a little bit boring. But it's such a bigger deal when you finally get eyes on one of these deer. Right now I'm glassing totally into the sun, which makes good optics that much more important. You're really looking for a needle in a haystack like in all that area out in front of me. There's probably only a couple deer and maybe one or two bucks. Well, the morning's winding down. Saw the handful of deer, a couple little bucks, but nothing big. So I'm gonna walk down this ridge that I'm on right now and I'm gonna go to a different glassing point and see if I can look off the backside and maybe get eyes on something coming up off the water, but pretty standard morning out here, really. The fact that I saw some deer actually makes it a lot better than some mornings I've had out here, so. I didn't get a chance to check all my trail cameras uh, last night, so I'm gonna hike up and check the upper one. It's a long ways up there. And I'm kinda gonna walk through these canyons on the way up, and usually when I do this move, I did this a couple times in the muzzle, and I've always kicked out a buck or two. So it's kind of a good way to see what's right in those little canyons by the water and see what turns up. So let's go give her a shot. Get my orange on here and get hiking. Went up and checked that trail camera and not only had there not been a buck on it, there was not even a deer on it. I walked all the way out of the canyon and I never saw a deer, so that's why I didn't feel much. Now the camera light is flashing and I'm gonna go to bed before this thing quits focusing again like it has been doing this entire time. So call it a night, got a game plan for tomorrow. I'm gonna walk out to a big glassing point and use the 18s and check out, see if I cannot turn up one of these big bucks. Same old story, this is day 26 uh, trying to kill these deer for me, so. It's getting long. Good night. Well, it's been a bit of a slow morning here. I walked out through this flat where I glassed those deer yesterday morning, just hoping that I could get in here and see them, but I didn't see them this morning. But the more I hunt this place, the more I realize there's so much country here just rolling canyon after rolling canyon and saw these hidden sagebrush flats I didn't know about and then you have the big mountains and it's a wonder that we can ever find these deer consistently at all we had an absolutely beautiful sunrise this morning I slept so good last night I don't know if I was just tired from that walk or getting up early for five weeks in a row now <laughs> but it got cold last night like probably 20 degrees 30 degrees colder than the night before 27 days I've hunted this spot in these deer this year it's getting to be a little bit obsessive excessive and obsessive and I might eat this tag I'm trying to kill one of about two deer that I would shoot out here, but that's just life, you know? It's just life. Good morning. Today is the opener of the general 
deer season here in Utah. I didn't really film much on the way up. Kind of got a late start, but when I got to my glassing point, there was a, about six deer behind me. I saw most of them. I didn't see all of them. And they kind of moved down off. So I'll probably have to circle and see if I can see them again. And then just barely out here, I glassed a, a three point. Not a bad deer, but about 1,500 yards away. Sun's just now peeking over. I got a week to try to get this one done before I head to Arizona for coups. So, Let's see if we can find a good buck. Sometimes people beat you to them. We're gonna go look at the buck I've been trying to kill. <laughs> and I didn't shoot him, but it happened. That's him. Mother. That, that ain't him, bro. Dude. No, that's him. He's got that in there. Does he? Oh, yeah, yeah. that's him. Oh my God. God. I knew he was freaking oh. massive. My God. That's dude. him, bro. Oh, my hell. Rather be lucky than good any day. Congrats, man. That's freaking that's awesome. Oh. That's him. Oh, my God. Dude, that's freaking the deer I've been working my guts out for. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> Oh, it hurts so bad, dude. You even want me to pull him out? Pull him out. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. Look Bro. at that double eye guard. Bro. Like, oh my gosh. Dude, that freaking is, that's him. It's a nice deer, dude. <laughs> yeah. Holy. Yeah, he's pretty nice. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine next year. Oh my gosh, dude. That's him. That That's the buck we're all here for. I wasn't sure where this deer was and I was trying to figure out if he'd circle back and they came up the bottom, popped out on the hillside and apparently they were there for a few minutes while Colin made his way around the hill and put the herd on the deer. I've been hunting for 30, this is day 31, chasing this deer, so. We'll go that side. We'll Pull them up right yeah. there. I got so much freaking Tiny trail ones. cam and <laughs> pull his head around there. Let's see what he looks like from the front. Oh, oh my gosh, gosh, dude. Oh my gosh. <sighs> well, at least I don't have to hunt out here anymore. No kidding, huh? Dude, he's such a freaking tank, but I got my good camera in my pack. I can take photos for yeah. you. Dude. Freaking stuff. That double eye guard and that cheater, like bladed. He's got it all. <laughs> He's got it all. I bet he looks giant right there. Yeah. I can't believe that. 15s. 15 inch twos. Man, I'm gonna talk about a heartbreaker. That was a heartbreaker. Watching that deer for three months, hunting him for three months. Watching him get shot as I had him in my scope. Squeezing the trigger. Hunted that deer for 31 days and congrats to that guy who got it done. Colin, I went up there, took some pictures with him, helped him take some photos with his dad and it hurts my heart, I'm not gonna lie, it hurts a lot. But you win some, you lose some, and it's just the way she goes when you hunt. I can't believe I've been out here this many days without running into anybody, and then the day I finally get that buck turned up, there's somebody else right there and they get a kill. But congrats, Colin. If you watch this dude, that's a freaking sweet buck, and he shot quicker than me. We were both lining up on the deer at the same time, and I watched it get shot in my scope. 
So, name of the ball game, public land hunting, but holy crap. I'm gonna go home and probably eat ice cream and cry for a day or two and then figure out what's next. I feel like I should apologize for not telling you guys about this deer, but I just wanted to kill him so bad. And a lot of the muzzleloader hunts when I was passing bucks, it was because I was hoping to get a chance at this one. Good morning. We're looking for some bucks. Good morning. <laughs> we are looking for some bucks. After suffering a little bit of heartbreak yesterday, we decided to go for a drive this morning since the boys are out of school for the deer hunt holiday. So we're just going for a ride. We're glassing a little bit from the road. I'm trying to reevaluate and decide where I'm going to hunt the rest of the hunt now that the migration has occurred. Why the one Is that funny? But we're just going to ride around in glass, eat some snacks, and have fun today. These boys don't get out of school very often, so took advantage. Okay. Anyway, hope you guys are having a good day. Hope your hunts are going well. And uh, we'll get back to some serious hunting action probably tonight or tomorrow. So what does it mean when there's red on the map? We can't hunt there. Yep, so you watch that map and you tell me when it goes to when we're in the red and so then we'll stop looking for deer, okay? So you guys let me know when we get off of it again and then we'll start looking for deer again, okay? Okay, you tell me when we're safe to hunt again. Yeah. We can? We're off the red? Yeah, we're off the red. Oh, good. Right. A couple days left in the hunt, two of my good buddies who had also been watching the big buck that got killed reached out and asked if I wanted to come hunt with them for the last few days. Wednesday was the last day I had to hunt before my coos hunt, and you're about to see it was a bit of a whirlwind. <laughs> I am not filmed anything today, but I just shot a bucket. But 778 was the final range I had on him. And he looked good. Don't even really know what he was, but he looked good. This is my last day to hunt before I head to Arizona for coos. And this man right here pulled through, Tyler Bowler. That's what's up, Tyler Bowler hunting. You guys, if you haven't heard of him, now you have. But uh, I don't know what the heck he is. <laughs> he looked big. He looked big, <laughs> looked really big. So we shot him. So we're gonna go see now, I guess, find out what the heck's going on. Oh, my ears are ringing. I didn't have time to do anything except I found him. I couldn't find him in the binos. I found him in the scope. Good thing we checked the turd on this gun yesterday. I'm gonna go see what the heck he is. <laughs> Bowler, what the heck, man? Look, he's got a little trash on his. Yeah, that's a freaking sweet. How about bite. that? He's deep fork. Dude, man. got good forks and good eye guards. Man, look at the trash on his bases. Yes, sir. Big old heavy bases. Man, I knew he was good when we saw him in the scope. <laughs> yeah, he was stuck in that oak, huh? Yeah. He'd come charging out of there right after bed. Jeez, you guys, I freaking walked up on this deer. We thought he was dead in the bush. He was upside down in the oak, and he jumped up. I had to shoot him again at about 10 feet, but he's a good deer, like, super happy with that buck. After working hard grinding it out on this hunt like man look at that deer pretty four I didn't get a great look at him but even if I would have I'd have shot him for sure sweet thank you boys welcome brother it was <laughs> awesome good job, good job these guys aren't big on the filming but it's Tyler Bowler and this is Brad you guys remember Brad killing the big ghost buck with his bow but geez I didn't hardly film anything today but this will be a good follow-up for all the stuff I filmed earlier that's a big body on that sucker that's look how big, big his buck. neck is man that's typical those guys yeah for sure there he is all posed up pretty i'm gonna try to roll if i can't pull his head around too much <coughs> I'm holding him back he's on the steep steep hill right here but probably does want to roll but Well, there he is, you guys. After some shooting this morning, we came up here and Buck jumped up on us and I had to John Wayne him at about 15 feet or so, but put one right where it needed to go and he ran about 20 yards down the hill, piled up in the, in the brush and we got him done. 
So super stoked with that deer, you guys. I know a lot of people express frustrations in the comments on the videos this year of me uh, passing a lot of deer up and I didn't pass any that were that good. So sometimes it pays to be a little more picky and now that the deer that I really wanted to kill got killed, I was ready to, to pull the trigger and luckily I ran into Tyler and Bradley and got something squared away and Tyler's been seeing these deer and keeping an eye on them and pretty good dude. So jump in here if you want, man. We can get everybody in here. <coughs> but this is the man right here. We glassed him up and it had another buck with it this morning too that was probably a shooter as well. And when they lined out on the hill, this was the one that gave us the shot and he looked looked good in the glass, so we let him let him have it. But what do you think? I think Ben made a hell of a shot at 700 and 80 yards, <laughs> pretty awesome. That was, uh, I messed with my turret yesterday and then made sure it was shooting real good. And it's a long poke for sure, but uh, that was it. That was the only chance we were getting at these deer. So, Play, paid out pretty good. We got the old Roman nose on that sucker too. Like, that's crazy. We don't know how old he is, but he's definitely a big mature deer, big bodied and super happy to kill one like that on a general unit. They don't make a whole lot of big deer on these generals. So. Time to get to work, I guess. Get him cut up and get off. Thanks for filming, Brad. And a lot of work to do. We'll get some photos and get him chopped here. So. Congratulations. Thanks, man. Stoked. Guys, we got him rolled down here in the shade a little bit where we're gonna get to work on him and get him all pieced out, but I'm leaving for Arizona tonight, like I said, so this buck will get hung up in the cooler and I'll probably age him till I get back and cut him up. But uh, these hunts can become a grind. This, this mule deer hunt has absolutely been a grind. I put in so many days just out there trying to get it done on a one specific deer. And when he died, like I felt like the wind came out of my sails, but this was the exact pick me up that I needed. What a perfect way to end this hunt. After looking a lot over a lot of great deer and being able to take home like a big mature buck at the end is just, that's what it's all about for me. Um, I got to hunt a lot of days, filled the tag, and now we'll be on to the next one. But pretty excited, pretty happy with this deer, and excited to have him and eat him and put him on the wall. So that's why we do it. General season, Utah is done. Arizona Coos is up next. Dude, look at that. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I had a lot of fun putting that one together. I compiled a lot of footage for one, and obviously a bit of a heartbreak there in the middle, but um, I'm feeling better about it. This is like a couple weeks later, and I'm feeling like not so uh, upset and anxious about it. <laughs> anyway, I do need to thank a bunch of people who bought apparel. You guys, we have had a ton of orders in the last couple weeks, so this may take a minute, but that's okay. It's worth it. So here's the people I need to thank. Starting out, I need to thank Michael Baird. Thank you, Michael, for a good size order. Uh, Tisha Friedenberg, thank you very much. William Nelson, Ryan Mitchell, Jaden Telford, Braden Case, Tyson Blanco, Haley Tanner, Derek Watson, Daniel Best, Brandel Colonna, um, let's see, Jacob Kreckman, Trevor Davis, Christopher Mira, uh, Jerrica Prouse, Jim Spencer, Shane Tidwell, uh, Tyler Christians, Andy Benrude, Kyler Mumford, Little Mumph, again, uh, Zachary McCavey, Dallin Hatch. Um, I already think, maybe think Dallin, but I went through and actually made sure he got his hats this week, so that's good. Um, that's one page down. Let's see what we got on the next page. Um, all right. We had a bunch because I sold a bunch the other night. Tug Leifson, thank you, or Leifson. Uh, Mina Tank. I think it's Tonk Tank, I don't know, but this is my buddy Dreo's girl, and thank you guys, I appreciate a good size order. Um, ben Sandal, dude, I told you I'd give you a hat, Ben, trying to buy my stuff, you're a good friend. Um, Joseph Luna, Ryan Yale, Jackson Vernon, Jordan Garcia, um, David Valco, Amy Bowen, 
uh, Brandel Colonna again, Casey Bryant, Faith Foster. And I think that's where we'll stop there. I have some more, but I also have some more videos to make. So that's probably where we'll get to today. So thank you everybody um, who purchased uh, apparel. I did another round of those flap hats and they sold out so quick. So I'll try to get some in um, this coming week. But I appreciate you guys' orders. Appreciate you for watching this video and for buying apparel. And uh, have some coos hunting videos coming up next. So thanks.